And first off, look at how pretty my new leg is. You good, dude? Oh yeah, I have a kitten too. This is Amadeus. He's 15 weeks old now. He terrorizes me, but he's cute. Go terrorize more things. I think I've explained it to you guys before. Amadeus, can you stop messing with the camera, please? I think I've explained it to you guys before. I pick out a fabric at a craft store and hand it to my prosthetist. I don't understand the whole process. Something with resin and lamination, but they put it into my legs, so it's like actually in there. It's not paint, it's not a cover or anything. This foot is my Flower All Pro. Love this foot. Has a little more spring than most traditional feet, but not as much energy return as a running blade. So I wouldn't be doing 100 meter sprints on this, but if I need to jog across the street because the light's about to turn red, or, or I do gymnastics in this foot, and I have some really cool clips that I'm, I have some really cool clips that I'm gonna roll real quick. I really like this foot and I'm very grateful for this. I told you he terrorizes me. Today, the thing I want to tell you guys about is my favorite amputee thing in the entire world, and it is the underliner. There's a lot of different types of sweat socks, and what these are is, as the underliner explains, it goes under your liner. The purpose of this is anybody who lives in a hot climate, anybody who Exercise a lot, knows the importance. The cat just jumped into my laundry basket. Anybody who lives in a hot climate or exercises a lot understands how not only uncomfortable it is to sweat inside your liner, but they understand that you have a very real possibility of losing your leg if your liner slips off. The underliner kind of mitigates that. I know some people will have sprays that you can use for antiperspirants or um, very like scent-free natural deodorants that you can rub on to kind of help with the sweating problem. But let me tell you, I sweat a lot. I'm in Colorado and yesterday I had my first track practice and it was awesome. And it was at 11 o'clock and it was 93 degrees outside. So not only was it my first time running at altitude, it was my first time running in that kind of heat. And it was the first time running after quarantine because I hadn't been able to wear a leg because they hadn't fit for so long. But the underliner, I was wearing the underliner, and God, I sound, I sound like a promotion right now. I just love these things. It helps a lot. I still sweat. I actually drenched my sock yesterday. It's pretty gross, but that's, that's good as opposed to having my leg fall off when I'm halfway through a run. Underliner, my favorite brand, my favorite type of sweat sock, but any sweat sock does its job, but the underliner, it has like silver, I think, and it's moisture wicking. I don't really know how things work. I told my prosthetist about it, and he's like, well, do you have your old one? And I'm like, I do, but all the lettering came off, because these ones you can literally just, these ones you literally just throw in the washing machine. I don't dry it, but I th throw in the washing machine and then let it air dry. But my prosthetist, he was like, do you have your old one? I'm like, yeah, but you can't see the lettering. So I'm like, but I swear, it's called the underliner. I tried to do research for my last prosthetist, but he couldn't find them, and nobody seems to know what they are. I got them at the Warrior Games last year because we were in Tampa Bay, Florida in June. The prosthetics company that comes out to help all the amputees that are at the Warrior Games said, hey, being in Florida, we deal a lot with people that sweat. Can you stop? Now you can be held like a little baby. Are you done? Go play. Okay. You're done. Prosthetics office that was in Tampa is like, hey, we live in Tampa. We deal a lot with amputees that sweat. So this is by far the best sweat sock that we have. And I love it. I love the way it fits. And that's pretty much it. This is my liner that I use to to connect my real leg to my prosthetic leg. So I would take my underliner, just 
pulls over, it has no compression at all. It's literally just a sock. Buddy. Fits like a sock. And then I take my liner, it's already flipped inside out, and just put it over it. It does add a tiny bit of um, volume. So if you already have a really tight fitting socket, it might be a little snug, but if you're doing something that you're gonna be sweating a lot, odds are your leg's gonna shrink anyways and it'll be great. But if you've ever done an activity and you have to take off your, your liner halfway through to drain the sweat out, this mitigates a lot of that. I still had to do it a couple times, but then again, I said I was running and it's, it was hot as is bleep outside. So that's my underliner. I love them. If you don't have one and you sweat a lot and have that problem, I highly, highly suggest telling your prosthetist about it. That's it. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're not already there. I post a lot more on Instagram than on YouTube. But I really, I really am trying, guys. I just, I've, there's been a lot of tragedy in my life in the last couple weeks and it's hard to get motivation to do anything. I'm glad things are starting to open back up so I can let out my emotions and whatnot doing all these physical activities and slowly starting to make friends in Colorado because I moved here right before COVID hit and I didn't know anybody. So. Thanks for watching, as usual. Comment below if you have any questions for me that I can answer, or if there's anything you want me to talk about in another video. But other than that, I am just hanging out today. Bye guys. Buddy.